seek for a treatment? I had dentures for something like 30 something years and but every time I uh, would every 18 months to two years I would have to replace them and they, they were just not fitting properly and I had a terrible time with them and um, I decided to go for implants. Um, I went to a dentist in Glasgow and they referred me to Dr Lockhead um, because they couldn't do it and the problem being was they had to come from my cheekbones and not from the normal um, implants that you would get because I had no bone at all in my mouth. So that's the problem I had, so I had to think about that. When uh, I came for the initial consultation with Dr Loghead and I was explaining, and I might add that I have an absolute fear of the dentist and that didn't help either, but I knew that if I had to get something done, it would have to be done. And Dr. Lockhead went through all the, the, the scenarios of what, or the treatments that I could get, sorry. And if eventually, and then they said, well, what about the implants? And at that point, I had the understanding that I couldn't get any from the Glasgow dentist. And then Dr. Lockhead said, no, no, we can do it, but in your cheekbones. And I was like, mm, okay, I don't really know about that one. So once they explained, showed me models of um, implants, what they would do with it, I thought, right, okay, let me think about this. I didn't take long. By the time I left here and by the time I travelled home, the decision was already made that I was going to go ahead with it. We had several appointments with them um, and also Dr Pally, who went, and they gave me they took x-rays and showed me exactly where the implants would be placed. The, the, technically, there was no risks. I didn't have any problems with it. And they did say that, you know, everything would be okay. And um, I trusted their judgment and went ahead with that, which is something I've been very pleased with. Her. You know, the operation, the whole procedure was only one day, a couple of hours in the surgery, and then... Uh, the theatre, sorry, and then, and that was it. I had no, I'm not good when I come out of anaesthetic, and I didn't have that at all. I was absolutely fine. And the whole process from start to finish, from the consultation right through until just now, has been fantastic. You know, so it has been thoroughly, it's actually been an enjoyable experience, although it takes a few months because by the time that you get the operation, by the time that you actually um, get the actual proper the implants in and the plate in and it's a fixed plate, it doesn't move and it's great, absolutely great. Even the temporary one was good, you know, that was, that was even good. Dr Lockhead and the staff, Emma and all the rest of the girls were absolutely, they've been absolutely wonderful. Dr. Pally, even at the hospital, and um, I thought I would be had a lot of discomfort. I thought, you know, after an operation, couldn't believe it. No pain, nothing. A couple of paracetamol, and that was me. So they were all fabulous. And um, the next after the the operation, I come back to the surgery where they would fit a temporary plate. Emma was there. Dr. Lockhead was there, and Dr. Pally was there. He'd have a look at it and everything. And it was great. There was no problem at all. I couldn't believe that I actually didn't have any pain as such. Discomfort, but no pain. Um, and that was it, really. The problem I had when I had the dentures was my speech. Because I constantly used my tongue to hold them in place. I'm still sort of doing that. Eventually it's leaving me because it's been a habit for a lot of years. Um, but the the when I was speaking, I was missing some of the words because of it, they were slipping. So I was very careful of what I said, and and I don't have that now. I don't have that fear. And the the other thing was going on holiday. Uh, going on holiday also was a nightmare because of the cleaning, the process you had to go through. Now I don't have that. I brush my teeth, and that's me. 
it's so nice to go out and have a meal without having to really choose what I'm going to have instead of what I really want because of the situation with the dentures. Now I don't have that problem. Nothing moves in my mouth constantly. It, everything would move in my mouth because I had nothing to hold on to. So the implants don't even feel them. There's no pain, there's no discomfort, there's nothing. So it's been great. I, didn't, I, I wish I had done it years ago. I didn't realise for all the times that I'd went to different dentist every couple of years to try and get something that would fit me properly. They'd always told me that I had soft gums, but not at any time did they say to me that I didn't have, I was losing the bone in my mouth. So that um, that might have been a, a factor that I would have had to have you know, considered, well, I need to do something else. I mean, I cannot thank the the staff enough um, because it's just been a whole really has changed my life and in an excellent way really has